Hello Gemini, welcome to Love Reading. We're going to be doing a How They Feel About You Love Reading. We're going to dive into your person's thoughts, feelings towards you, towards the connection, what are their energies like, and what are their intentions or next actions towards you. Um, as always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching, so keep that in mind. Take what resonates for you. All right, Gemini, let's jump right into your reading for Gemini. Messages, guidance, please, Spirit, for Gemini. Regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about how this person is thinking, feeling towards Gemini? One more. Okay, so let's see. What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini or this connection? Wow, Nine of Swords. The Empress. King of Swords. Mm. It's almost like I'm getting an energy of someone being scared to face you, Gemini. Scared to talk to you. Maybe scared or anxious about the outcome of a conversation. Um, I feel like they see you as this Empress energy. I'm almost picking up intimidated energy, like someone that's intimidated by you. Really values you. You stand out. That's what I'm getting. Gemini stands out. For some reason, I keep looking at what the Empress is wearing. So I think maybe you're looking very nice or you dressed up for an occasion. Um, this, able, this person's able to see this for some reason because it sticks, it's almost like they notice you, you shine. Okay, so let's get a little bit of um, energy oracles out here um, for Gemini before I clarify. But this person's worried. Nine of Swords, anxious, fearful, scared here over the outcome of something. Um, this person could also be feeling um, bad over something that has happened. It's like they can't sleep, they can't rest thinking about this. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Gemini, towards this connection? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Gemini? Looking inward, reflection, solitude, planning. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. I do feel like this person is thinking a lot about you, um, a lot about your connection, reflecting on the past, reflecting on uh, how they feel about you. So they're, you know, they're, they're doing a lot of thinking. What else? What else do we need to know? I want one more. One more for this person's energies towards Gemini. Walking away. So I feel like this person might have walked away from you. You might have walked away from them. Maybe they need to walk away from something and they're doing a lot of thinking and planning. Um, I think there's distance between you and this person. It could even be physical distance, but I at least sense the emotional distance, especially because this looking inward card was inspired by the hermit. When I was just um, picking out the photo for this card and thinking of the keywords for this card, I was thinking of the hermit. And um, I, I sense that there's like someone is, is feeling far from the other person. And that makes sense too, because I have the cold shoulder card at the bottom of the deck. Silence, distance, coldness. Someone's feeling shut out. So it's almost like there is a feeling of... Um, it's like a, a feeling of loss or a feeling of sadness. Um, you're definitely not with this person, um, Gemini. At least not for the Gemini that I'm reading for here. Let's get some other energies before I clarify. I just want to see what this person is thinking or feeling about you. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts? Feelings towards Gemini. 
are their thoughts? Feelings towards Gemini. This is person thinking, feeling. When it comes to Gemini, when it comes to Gemini. I feel trapped. And then this one wanted to come out. I don't know what to do. I think this person is trapped in their head. And that is probably why the Nine of Swords is here as well. They have to probably make a decision about something or um, they are trapped in the past or in the memory that they have of you or something like that. And I, I think it's like they, they're, they're probably also trapped in a situation where they're not happy. Um, I don't know what that could be. It could be um, a physical place, could be another partnership, could be um, a way of thinking, you know. I feel like this person is doing a lot of thinking, Gemini. Um, possibly even some overthinking. Like they really should be relaxing here. <laughs> Um, and not think so much, but it's like they can't help it. I don't know what to do. It's, uh, I'm wondering if that's something that has to do with you. Because this is how they're thinking or feeling when it comes to you or this connection. It's like they don't know what to do when it comes to maybe talking to you, approaching you. King of Swords is here. I, I really get the sense that this person is intimidated by you. It's like coming to you, talking to you. Um, would take a lot from this person. Bottom of the deck here, we have I'm ready to open up. And this is from my Secret Moon Oracle deck, which I just redesigned. Um, so if you're interested in any of the, my decks, they're linked in the description box. But because of the text in this, I specifically made the text a little bit bigger. Um, and I feel like it's just like jumping out at me when I look at these cards. I feel trapped. I don't know what to do. And I'm ready to open up. Maybe they just need to be honest with you, Gemini, about something. So let's break some of these down. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Nine of Pentacles. Again, I'm getting someone that is really admiring you or sees you as something very special. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles here. Successful. Um, you have it going on, Gemini. I feel like this person, something to do with how you're dressing. I mean, again, the Empress and then the Nine of Pentacles is kind of like a little Empress. Um, very well dressed. Um, doing well for themselves. Looking great. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Two of Wands. Yeah, it's like there's a decision or something like that that has to do with you. A path that they choose. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I get the sense that this person's playing scenarios in their head. Whoever this is. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is about what they're going to say. What path is the most successful or how do I approach Gemini? You've had that message before on my channel where it's almost like someone is um, afraid to talk to you. Tell me about the Empress. I, I, I get the sense that it's because this conversation could go two very different ways. Or maybe this conversation is very serious in nature. Knight of Pentacles. Oh yeah. They want to bring you something here. And then there's the lovers. Definitely. Gemini. There you are. Um, I get the sense that this person has something big to offer you or big to talk to you about. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um... Now, I don't know if they're realizing something about you or about this connection. I don't know what necessarily this offer is about. This could be a promise they make to you. This could be, you know, them realizing your worth with the empress here, the lovers. You are the person for me. Um, I don't know what the holdup is. I just know that for some reason I'm thinking that you're not the problem. 
Like if someone is intimidated by you, if someone's afraid to come forward, that's not because of anything that you have to feel at fault for or bad about, you know? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here for Gemini? Why is the King of Swords here for Gemini? Four of Wands. It's talking about this. Why is the King of Swords here? I'm also getting with the Four of Wands, uh, harmony, stability. Um, maybe talking about something here, opening up, whatever they're opening up about, it, it would bring stability or harmony to something. So maybe uh, you walked away and, and it wasn't on good terms. Maybe you walked away and things were left unsaid and you know you don't know exactly where you fit with each other anymore tell me about the king of swords queen of swords okay i want one more because queen of swords is like the same thing <laughs> tell me about the king of swords this is a very honest conversation very direct conversation with the king and queen of swords here no games here this is not someone that's playing games two of swords ten of pentacles interesting Again, I feel like this conversation has something to do with the future of some sort. This path leads somewhere. Um, Two of Swords is telling me that they are uh, undecided. It's almost like maybe they're undecided. Two of Wands, Two of Swords, until they talk to you. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is someone thinking about stability, security. I think they want to talk about the future with you something to do like the future of your connection or about the future they see with you i mean because this person is thinking a lot about you bottom of the deck the sun i feel like this is um a wish a desire that they might have with you What are this person's intentions, next actions going to be towards Gemini? What are this person's intentions, next actions going to be towards Gemini? What are their intentions, next actions going to be? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. What are this person's intentions, next actions going to be? When it comes to Gemini. Wow, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Let me get one more. The Tower? Oh. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Well, the Ten of Swords and the Tower, self-explanatory. Um, this person, that's why they they don't know what to do. That's why they want to talk to you and they're so undecided. That's why we have such a hubaloo here about what's going to happen, what should I do. This person's considering either ending a cycle in their life, causing a tower in their life, I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles is. Maybe it's what they see with you. Maybe it's the type of partner they see with you. Or like they see you as the Queen of Pentacles, you know, which she's very loyal. Again, very successful Queen of Pentacles. I feel like for the Gemini that I'm talking about, you have something going for you right now. Or this person knows that you're very successful. Um, you're, you're established. You have something to offer that this person can't help but see. But this tower, this Ten of Swords with the Knight of Cups, I mean, it's almost like this tower, this Ten of Swords is something they're considering so that they can bring this Knight of Cups to you. Um, or they could be apologizing. Let's get a couple more. 
Tell me about this tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Ah, the hangman. This person has been thinking and thinking and thinking about this tower. They haven't pulled the trigger, but it's almost like they're almost there. They're, they're, they, all they have to do, it's almost like one word from Gemini and I will ruin my life. <laughs> or something like that. Tell me about the tower. Or they're envisioning what this tower is all about. They already know. Yeah, five of pentacles. It would be difficult. But the six of cups is here. Nine of wands. Yeah, it's almost like the past is not... Whatever happened between you and this person, it's not over. The past persists. Wow, the higher font, Taurus energy. It could very well be that this person already has something else going on. Yep, five of cups. And they would have to give it up. There would be a loss here. It could even be financial. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Star. Aquarius energy. Yeah, there's hope after this ending. This person, whoever this is, Gemini, there's the Ace of Wands. Whoever this is, they're ending something in order to have an Ace of Wands. They're ending something with the hope or with the faith that they will get something in return for that ending. It's, it's very calculated energy. It's almost like this is not someone that does things lightly. This is not someone that uh, does things rashly, I guess I should say, instead of lightly. They don't, they're not thinking about things in a, in a small or impulsive way. This person is the person that would file for divorce, move out, and call you and tell you why exactly they did it. Or they would say, I quit that job that kept me from you. I quit that job to be with you. Will you consider having something with me again? Whatever. Something like that. Obviously, I don't know every Gemini situation watching this, but that's the, that's the energy that I'm picking up here is that whoever this is that's making this decision to blow up their life or to make this tower or ten of swords happen is for a reason. They're not just doing it just because. They're doing it on purpose. And for some reason, you're involved. They might even tell you everything they're planning before they do it. But it's like they see a future with you and that's enough for them. They just need to know you're on board or they just need to know how you feel. Um, because I, for whatever reason, I, I get the feeling here that you're not in communication with this person. Not to this extent where someone would bear their soul to you, you know.